from the north of England in the United Kingdom. Welcome back to another print to project video for gel press. Today I'm going to be using some of these texture plates by Carabelle Studio. These are amazing, amazing for taking paint off your plate and giving you instant pattern and texture. Um, which proves that not every background has to be really complicated. This is a really nice, simple but very effective way of creating pattern and texture. You can make backgrounds like this. I'll be showing you how I do these. You can see I've chopped into some of these already. And I'm going to show you what I do with all those pattern papers. Now here's my planner. I love my planner. My life is in here and I've used all of my pattern backgrounds to make a pocket full of textured tags and in my Dina Wakely journal which is full of different types of pages, paper, um, burlap, calico I've worked on a calico page and I did another one there so come and join me, let's make pattern pockets Today I'm going to be creating some textured backgrounds. I'm going to cut into little strips and pieces to use in my planner. I'm going to be using these texture plates by Caravel Studio. I've got a, a variety here. These have been designed so that the text is printed the correct way when you pull a print off. If you use rubber stamps with something like text, when you then pull off your print, the text is backwards. So these have been designed, everything works really, really well. They're, simple to use, you can get immediate texture on your papers. Now I'm just using a round gel plate here, it doesn't really matter for this, I'm going to cut it up anyway, and I'm using my Misty stamp platform from my Sweet Petunia. And I'm going to put one of the texture plates on that side, I'm just going to line it up roughly, and I'm going to add a couple of colours onto my plate. So just a simple press down. I'm just using a, a smooth card, nothing special. And then you get all that texture, all that pattern in one simple move. This time I'm going to do something slightly different. So I'm just putting a single colour on first. So I've just got a simple flat yellow background. And now I'm adding a contrast colour. Now I can add that on top of my yellow print. So I've changed my texture plate and I'm going to add three or four colours onto here so I get a nice contrast with the other prints. print there because that gives me a nice bit of contrast as well. It's much lighter but it's got the same colours and the same pattern. I've changed to a different size plate and I've picked out a different texture plate and I'm going to put a whole load of different colours on here. 